Yeah, honestly, I kind of need a night away from Shandy to think about things. What do you mean? I've been getting the feeling that she's cheating on me. Yes. Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today we are reading the next part of It'll Be Our Secret on the episode app. If you haven't seen the last ones, go check them out. Our girl wants to get pregnant so badly. It's an episode through What a Shocker, she wants to get pregnant. Except... Um, her husband treats her awful and he got a little surgery done behind her back that she doesn't know about so that he, you know, she can't get pregnant essentially because he can't provide. So, but she doesn't know that and it's causing all this strife and all this drama. So we're going to see what happens. Will she find out? I don't know. And there's this new little side romance going on with the neighbor who's also in kind of a bad relationship. So it's drama central. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I give it a big thumbs up if you do subscribe at this point. And if you haven't already, go follow the amazing author. Their Instagram is linked in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Does that say I'm... Okay, how? Pregnant? Diamond, are you done in there? Some of us actually need the bathroom. Frank, you're gonna need the bathroom once we walk out and shove this thing in your face. Uh, yeah, I'll be right out. How is she pregnant, though? How? Okay, let's stay calm. I've had false positives before. I'll go to sleep and test again in the morning. Diamond, I'm coming. The next morning... Okay, so I gotta know. OMG, is that my period? No, 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 no. The test last night was positive. Oh. And then the wave of emotions came over me once again. The only thing worse than a negative test is a false positive. The glimmer of hope before the dark crash of reality. Should I even go to work today? Honestly, take a me day, girl. No way I'm going to work. I'm finding my comfort pajamas and relaxing at home. She needs to stay home and all I did was mope around the house and read books. I feel so bad, but she needs to get out of this relationship and get with a man who's going to provide. What are you guys doing here? We're kidnapping you and taking you out. Yep. We know how things have been tough lately, Diamond. So we're here to sweep you away and remind you how you deserve to be treated. It's girls' night out. Oh, you guys. Wait, it gets even better. You know that VIP pop-up party that happens in a different city every year? Yes, I was dying to go when it was in New York last year. Well, it's in our city this year, and we score tickets. What? I've heard those are impossible to come by. You literally have to know someone to get in. We know how much you've always wanted to go, so let's just say we pulled a few strings and called a few favors. I can't believe you guys did this for me. There's one more thing. A VIP party calls for a look. So they got this look matching outfits and wigs. You know what? That's real cute, girls. This is amazing. But you, we could always do what we always do. Don't even say it, Maeve. The dive bar. Oh, look, the guilt. The guilt trip from episode. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna be waiting for a little bit more lit option at Frank's ass. Plus, you never know who might be there. Okay, that's nice. They really just laid it on thick. That's nice. We could just go to the dive bar. Are you sure we have these tickets? So why don't you give them to us, Maeve? Then just go. Like, okay, the bar will do. Guess it's going to be selfish, Maeve. Okay. Okay, so the kitchen's closing early tonight to get fumigated, so no late night fries. Sorry. Huh? Hell if I know. Why do we keep coming to this place again? You tell me, Christy. You tell me. So what's going on, Diamond? We are worried about you. It's just all this pregnancy stuff. You know we're always here for you. Do you want to talk about it? I almost thought I was pregnant last night. I feel terrible that she got that thing. I was like, okay, obviously, we kind of know. Like, we were shocked at the beginning. Like, how? But we knew deep down she really wasn't pregnant just because we know the T on Frank. Little liar. It was just another cruel joke, a false positive. I've been trying for three years to get pregnant and all for nothing. We know how hard these last three years have been, Diamond. But you're so hopeful and you keep pushing on. But why with Frank? Stop. I really admire that. I don't. Girl, you need to get away from him. Stop being miserable. Me too. Haven't given up and that's amazing. I just wish I could talk to my husband about it. But you know how he is. Yes, we do. You deserve better. Seriously, you deserve a guy who will treat you right. A guy who cares about what you think. Yes, Christy. Well, if you know any guys like that, let me know. But why are you settling? But why are you settling? If you know you're unhappy, why are you settling? You gotta leave Diamonds. 
it's time. Thanks so much for talking tonight. Where's my gym option to divorce, Frank? I want to get that option. It really helps to get this stuff off my chest. Of course, that's what friends are for. Now let's crush our girls' night out. Yes, this then is about you, Diamond. And the good part about not being pregnant is you can drink. True, we can right now. You guys are so right. Have a sip, and I'm ready for a good drink. Have a little sippy sip. Get twisted. Have a blast. She deserves it. She needs to rest. Check out the hotties at 4 o'clock. Where? Make it more obvious. Why don't you, Maeve? Like, girl, I thought you were on Paladins. They are pretty cute. Oh, Diamond, that guy is totally checking you out. Look who it is. I'm married and hopefully divorced soon. He's probably checking you guys out, not me. No way, he's totally trying to catch your eye look. Oh, it's Derek. Wait, that's Derek. Oh, look who's out with his friends. Hey, he is fine and he's coming this way. Hey, neighbor. You two are neighbors, so you must be familiar with each other then. Well, I like to consider us friends. I mean, they're friends, you know, they're mostly, definitely friends. Derek is a great guy. You guys would love him. A great guy, eh? Who we'd love. What are you talking about? Nothing. Enjoy talking. We have to um walk over there now. So they're going to leave them be. Get the little flirt on. Your friends are funny. They are. Although they're acting kind of funny right now. Well, girl, they're trying to set you up with a better man. Someone you deserve. Anyway, didn't expect to see you here. What brings you out tonight? I'm here with a friend. We're celebrating his birthday. Sounds like fun. Oh, how was your interview? It went really well, thanks for asking. I have a second round interview tomorrow. Shandy thinks I'm lying about that, though. Wow. Yeah, honestly, I kind of need a night away from Shandy to think about things. What do you mean? I've been getting the feeling that she's cheating on me. Yes, we've been knew this. We've thought this since chapter one. I know we're only at chapter three, but there is something very suspicious about Shandy. And there is something very suspicious about Frank. Although it doesn't really make sense if Shandy's pregnant. How with Frank? Because knowing what happened to him when he got a vasectomy. Mm, 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 interesting. She came home smelling like cologne a few nights ago, and she doesn't really treat me like she loves me. Cologne. Remember when Frank was wearing the cologne? And I hope this isn't TMI, but I wore one that night. I always do. I just don't know how she could possibly be pregnant by me. Wow. I really hope things work out. No, girl, use your noggin. Thanks, Diamond, me too. I'm also excited to hang out finally. Sure, it's about time we hung out. It'll be good to do something fun to distract ourselves from all the relationship drama. Cheers to that. And you do make for a great distraction. Mm, I'm sure she does. Oh, look at him. He's getting all on his feels over here. Is he flirting with me? Flirt back. Play hard to get or turn red. Okay. We're turning red. Not because I don't want to flirt for the drama's sake. It's just... In this though, between the last few stories we've read, we have been getting a little too... We've been overstepping some boundaries. Girlfriend is still married. She's married. And we don't do none of that. So turn red. Be a little, you know, ooh, look at me. Sorry, I didn't mean to make things awkward. I shouldn't have said that. No, 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 it's okay. I just wasn't expecting. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. Before long, hours had passed without me realizing it. Talking to Derek was so easy, like two friends who have known each other forever. Okay, so things went good. He made me laugh. He held doors for me. I couldn't help comparing him to my husband, wishing my own partner could be a little more like Derek. Well, hopefully he's our partner soon enough. Hey guys, Maeve and I were thinking of getting some late night pizza down the block. That sounds like fun. Derek, do you want to come? Count me in. Okay, so the new and improved friend group. Is that a fortune teller down the street? Oh no, um, do we have to do this? I've always wanted to see a fortune teller. I don't want to know my fortune. Maybe the fortune teller can tell you if that guy you gave your number to will call. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. Come on, you guys. I guess we're going in. I don't want to know my future. You come to see your future. I don't. Leave it a surprise, please. Come on, Christy. This is silly. Silly, eh? Sorry to tell you, but when you arrive at the pizza place you're all headed to, you'll find that it just closed. What, Christy? Did you tell her we were going to get pizza? No. Wait, hold on. You knew we were going to get pizza. I also know he's going to offer you a ride home. She's not wrong. This could be exactly what I need. I don't know. I could finally ask the fortune a real question. The question, the one that I've wondered for years now. The fear I've had ever since that first pregnancy taste came back negative. Is it true? Can you really see into my future? Yes, it is true. 
can you can you see a family in my future, a baby? Will I ever have a child? I have the answers you seek. Are you finally ready to know your fortune? The little description of the story says she's going to get pregnant, so I'm good. No, on second thought, I don't think I want to know just yet. A choice only you can make. Good night. Come on, guys. It's getting late. It's like, we know that Derek is going to eventually get or go pregnant. It's the whole... That's why the story is called It'll Be Our Secret. <laughs> I can't believe it. And look, the pizza place really is closed. She knew everything. Anyway, Chris and I are headed uptown, so we'll catch a taxi. Okay, thanks again for dragging me out tonight. Let's catch up again soon. So I'm about that ride, you know, if you want it. I figure we're headed to the same place after all. I'd love one. Okay, so now they're getting some alone time. They're getting a little meet and greet in the car alone. Let's see what they have to say. It felt so good to be driving in the car with Derek. He rolled all the windows down and turned the music up loud. We both laughed together and just for a fleeting moment so quick that I was shocked when it happened. I looked at him and thought how cute he looks while he's driving. Oh, she's getting in her feels. Diamond, have you ever fantasized about a different life? A different partner? Have you? I thought about it. Me too. Then do it. <laughs> Then do it. Just do it. People, like, you can't be unhappy in your life. If you're not happy with what you have, once again, you cannot settle. You can't be content with things. Especially if it's like a partner you're with or something and you are not happy. You need to discuss it with them. Try to fix things. Try to work on things and make things work. And if it's not working, well, you have to go your separate ways. You can't just live your life miserable. Your ideal life with your ideal partner. If the partner you're with is not your ideal partner, that you shouldn't be with them. Period. I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. Um, what? But, girl, what? My life's great as is. I'm down to tell you or you go first. I'm fine. I wouldn't change a thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. I had a lot of fun talking tonight. It was refreshing. I know what you mean. Is, oh, that's my phone. Frank. Yeah, listen to this one. Are you home yet? The trash cans need to be put out for garbage day. You're right. Frank, uh, you should walk on the street. It'll take care of the whole situation right now. Take Shandy with you. Jeez, he couldn't do it himself? Well, I guess he's not home yet either. That's strange. I don't think he said he had any plans tonight. What time is it? Past midnight. I hope everything's all right. He's usually home by this time. Noggin! Our noggins! Diamond, I really didn't want to tell you this. But I have reason to believe that both our partners are cheating. Yes! Yes, it's the tea! Yes, Derek. Tell her, spill the tea everywhere. Shandy and Frank are cheating and probably with each other. Let's rewind real quick. We have so many clues at this point. The only thing that doesn't make sense is the fact that Frank has the whole vasectomy and but Shandy's pregnant. But he was a little shook and he was like when she announced her pregnancy in the hallway and he was like, what? Mm, interesting. I remember the one time when she was like, is that a new cologne? And he was like, yeah, it's, I always wear this cologne, which clearly it wasn't. It was brand new, you know. So and then he or Derek in this chapter made a comment about Shandy smells like cologne. I think if we put the puzzle pieces together, Shandy and Frank are having an affair. That's what I think. Y'all could think something different. Let me know in the comments below. But I think they're having a little affair, a little fling behind, you know, our character Derek and Diamond's back. But, well, there's no but. It's just wrong. Um, They need to leave their partners. I'm not going to go on the whole spiel again. I already spieled about it earlier. But don't settle. Just don't settle. We're getting Diamond away from Frank. Where is my divorce option? I'm ready to click that button so quick. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about the story. What do you think is going to happen? No spoilers if you've read ahead. What do you think of the whole situation? All that good stuff. And of course, please go follow the amazing author. Their Instagram is linked in my description box below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already at this point. And before we go, the shout outs. A special shout out to Jay LaRocca. Brooklyn Day, and Emily LaPointe. Thank you so much for your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you to everyone, of course. It means everything to me. I hope everyone is doing good, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye, everyone. I'm so, I'm so